Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I'm the Humble Gamer, and this is our little bonus episode at the end of the Transcontinental Railroad Adventure in Railway Empire. Uh, we've completed it. We've done New York to San Francisco across the center of America, and now we've done San Francisco to New York and Washington via the southern coast, and it's the southern coast we're going for. We are being driven, you can see we're paused, we're uh, going from San Francisco to Houston, to Houston to New York, one stop in Houston. And we are in a Baldwin 460. I spent some time waiting for the game to um, to run on, so I so we could get a nice locomotive for it. So that's what it looks like. And we're now going to ride on it. We are already behind. Another slower moving train, but it's because it's quite a busy section of track, this southern route. <laughs> but we won't be stopped for too much of the time, I don't think, because we are just far enough behind. And I've laid the signals out in such a way. Plus, also, it's going to turn around at Los Angeles and we're um, entering the S Bend. Yes, we are entering the S Bend for Los Angeles. So we might have to wait while it sorts itself out in LA, but um, hopefully it'll get there and sort itself out, and then we'll be free to roam. I haven't bought anybody out yet. I'm probably not going to. Um, but like I said, that's not what these, this and the London Railway were for. They weren't necessarily for playing the game. We're just seeing, um, in the case of the London Railway, which is season one. It was just a case of seeing should we have built British Railways from London outwards, and we absolutely should. I was very successful in that. And this was just to see um, how it would have worked if America had built their transcontinental railway rather from the edges inwards, starting in the middle and gone outwards. Yes, yes. Such a small report can't harm you. No, it can't, and it doesn't. So shut up. Um, and I think again, it's been a it's been a big success. Obviously the difference is in Britain we had a choice where we started our railways. Uh, in America they didn't because they were moving across the country. Um, so what they did originally, i.e. building from each end and inwards, made the most sense. But now we're going to see the other train come back past us now. We are going to have to hold very briefly outside Los Angeles, but it's fine. We get a view of the ocean before we set off again next stop Houston I like these I like these um, the running of the routes because it's just nice to see everything isn't it sometimes it's just nice to watch trains go by or in this case, watch scenery go by while riding a train. Um, yes, this is now the this is now the consistent, a consistent slightly upgrade and dead straight out of Los Angeles. Um, as we make our way to El Paso, that got here like three episodes ago. Um, Choo -choo. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's tunnel, then bridge, then bridge, then bridge. <laughs> to keep this bit of the railway flat, I had to. It was earthworks or nothing. Those are the choices I had. But um, but yeah, I mean, we should eventually encounter other other trains because again this is this is quite a busy section of railway this it's not quite as busy as the San Francisco section but uh, we should see other locomotives in between us and certainly between us and New York interesting to see um, 
The scenery changes because obviously you can see obviously we've gone away from the coast now we're now into the deserts of Nevada and Texas and Arizona um, am I thinking Arizona? Am I, am I getting my states right here? Um, but yeah sort of southern southwestern America um, New Mexico? El, El Paso is in New Mexico isn't it? I'm sure it is or is it Texas? Either way, as you can see, we've got the southwestern scenery here with the cacti and the trees and the desert sands. You know, but we started out in fairly lush, mountainous country in San Francisco, so already we've changed um, biomes. Probably going to stop here, I reckon, to put, take on supplies. Yes, yeah. Is there a train behind us? No, I don't... I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Well, I mean, there's obviously trains behind us, but... Not waiting for us. In that sense. And then we are straight away again. Going round the Native American um, encampment, Not settlement rather than encampment, I think. It seems pretty permanent, but I didn't want to. I, I could. It gave me the option to go straight through their land, but I chose not to because I like to think I'm a decent human being. There they are. Enjoying their life while some white dude just builds a railway through their backyard. Aha, now we're catching up with traffic here. Is it be us or them? It should be us, we're not the branch line. Was us. And again, you can see the scenery changing now as we come flying through El Paso. Expecting a formidable report. They will get a formidable fist to your face. And then this was this was the bit of building that I didn't expect. It was much more complex and in depth than I thought it was going to be. Obviously a bit of traffic backlog, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, because there were cliffs. At various places that I just wasn't expecting. Which I think what the next stop after all of us, I think it was Odessa. I want to say Odessa. Could be wrong. But yeah, there were cliffs outside Odessa, so we had to gradient changes and we had to really pick our way through. Obviously, we had to cross rivers at the, the most natural point. I was genuinely quite pleased, genuinely quite pleased given how inaccurate this game can be with physics and bridges and stuff like that. I was actually most impressed at how topographically correct I managed to make most of this railway. Um, but, um, but yeah, I don't know what scenario I'm going to do next. I know I'm going to be doing an actual, an actual scenario from... Um, from the list of scenarios with some actual objectives rather than just this sort of free build. Um, I don't know which one I'll do next. I've got all of them except Japan, I think, so... Ooh! Have I broken down? Sounds awfully like I've broken down. Yeah, it's just a random breakdown. Well, 
just outside of uh, was Odessa, I was correct. So that's frustrating given that there's a maintenance shed right there. Should get it fixed fairly swiftly though. And again you can see the scenery changing again already into a bit more lush and verdant green as we head eastwards. Because we now turn right to San turn south to San Antonio and then back wet back eastwards towards Houston, which is our only stop between here and New York. Let's see whether I can teach this employee some discipline and order. You probably can. Oh, hello. Orange have got a second station. Look at that. Memphis, I think. Yes, we're now well into Texas. Again, this was another bit that I had to really think about because it did give me the option to, to just build a massive bridge that curved downwards. I was like there's a time and a place for that and this isn't it. I know I've used some of it around the Salt Lake City area or approaching Salt Lake City anyway but but yeah it's um I'm genuinely quite proud of myself for not just letting the game dictate how my track looked. I very much like, no, 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 I want this to look realistic, and I think I've mostly, mostly um, done it. There are bits that do not look realistic. Yes, good. Chin up, Kansas City doesn't like There's me, that's no fine. such thing as a bad press. I'm a national, I'm a national concern. Thank you. Um, I mean, yeah, obviously, it's, oh, we've a random breakdown, again. Oh, a breakdown, bad condition. It doesn't stop Somehow, anywhere, does it? Your trains don't run smoothly. Somehow, your trains don't run smoothly. Stupid dickhead. Well, I whistled, so we should be fixed by now, train. So now we're now we're causing a pileup. This express is causing a holdup now. Any chance you could maybe not be broken anymore? Any chance? Any chance at all. Come on, fix yourself. Oh, there we go. You can be maintained when you get to when you get to Houston. We're on straight through San Antonio, which will relieve the engine behind us. Certainly will relieve the crew behind us. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like the plans from your development department. Fine. Did it start with that dirt detailing on the cylinders, or is that added? Surely, they, surely there's not weathering that I've just not noticed in this game. <laughs> but then I don't notice a lot of things in a lot of games, so... And there's lots of video evidence to prove I don't. Here we go, Houston. Here it can get maintained and spend a night in the sheds before we go onwards to New York. Oh, excuse me, apologies. It is five past two in the morning. <laughs> Come on, other train, get out of the way. I have a shit to do. Uh, 
That is, I have shit to do, not I have a shit to do. In we go to Houston. I think the train behind us will go into the other track in Houston. Yes, it will. I think there's a further train behind that. Yes, there is. So we will now be serviced in Houston. Then we shall continue eastwards. is good. Yeah, being serviced correctly so. It should be pointed out. And then we can watch the next train pull into Houston. Houston suddenly became very, very busy. One of the busiest it's ever been. Unless you're pulling in behind me, which you are by looks of it. Once I clear the station throat, you should be you should come flying in. Which is what's going to happen. Cool. Fine. But yes, now we're on the most recent track we've built between Houston um, and New Orleans. So it's Houston, New Orleans, Jacksonville, Charlotte, Washington, and then New York. With the last piece of track built, and I probably won't build much more. Well, I, I mean, I won't. I won't play this map anymore. <laughs> This was a let's play and it's been a lot of fun, but I have no wish to continue it. It it it's not there. That is sign that it needs servicing. Those marks on the cylinders, that's pretty cool. I like that touch. See, I told you I don't notice stuff. Yeah, we'll be flying through Jacksonville next, which is just coming up. No, we'll be flying through New Orleans next. Transatlantic cable is a success. Good. August 1858, that's positive. That's what we like to hear. Imagine if it wasn't, that'd be, that'd be terrible for history. Just this one time it doesn't work. Well... Everything changes. So that's New Orleans. I must continue to go onwards. Cardation carrying, I presume, some sort of fermented beverage. American 440. Oh, and I've broken down again. Just a random breakdown. Okay. Oh, I Seems think. like your engineer has been caught with their pants down. Shut up. Do you think the thing is good enough? Bought some new locomotives there while we were waiting. The Consolidation B, which is an improvement on the Consolidation. And we bought the Bogey. Which is good. I did intend to <laughs> scratch my nose after talking about Bogey. But the rabbits are bouncing around again. It's what they do. Literally. They're bouncing. Oh, excuse me. I apologise profusely. Yes, I don't know when I'll be playing Railway Empire next, but I will be playing some more of it. I don't know what I'll be coming out with next. What the next game will be after Railway Empire. Um, I know at this point you'll be seeing um, Amnesia Rebirth. Or oh, that might have finished by now, but I imagine you're probably still seeing Amnesia Rebirth. But I don't know what other series I'm doing at the moment. I'll be doing after 
this. Um, there are games I want to play, but I don't know. <laughs> 71 MPH, a Reno 440. Wow. I'm about comfort, not speed. It's luxury travel for me. It's all it is. It's the fact you can go from New York to San Francisco by two very different routes. So there. But yeah, I don't know what... Um, I don't know what game will be coming up next on the channel. Like I said, I've got things that I that I'm thinking of, but I couldn't say for certain. So I don't know what you'll see me playing next. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, which will be fun for all of us, because no one knows what's going to happen. This is Jacksonville. Again, now you can see. Remember where we where we started? We were in the desert, surrounded by cacti. Now we're in deep forests and swamps. And I love the fact that it just changes. The scenery just changes around you. It's really, really nice. Right, fly through Jacksonville. Next stop is Charlotte. Well, we're not stopping, but next station would be Charlotte. Which of course has that ridiculous um, flyover because the other railway decided they just wanted to bypass Charlotte. How am I losing money? <laughs> I'm not buying anything, and I've now got so much more money than I had beforehand. Ugh. It makes no sense. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this whole series, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it, what, how you think I can improve. How would you have done this map differently? Obviously, some of you will probably be saying, I'd have focused on the objectives for one. Yeah, that's fair comment. <laughs> I haven't. I'm literally here to just experiment and see what happens if America's railways started in the middle and went outwards rather than from the outside came in. Here's the flyover over the orange railway. We're about here on the map. You can see where I'm. So here we go through Charlotte, and then it'll be through Washington and into New York, and then we will have finished the whole series. Eleven episodes, which I think is how long. Let me just get my my playlist up. I think. By pure chance, I, if it is, I have not planned this. But I think it's also exactly how long um, the first Railway Empire series was in terms of episodes. It was 11 episodes. <laughs> that seems to be a thing. That's surprising. I thought this was going to be a longer series, to be fair. I thought it was going to take me a lot more time to get this, to get all this done. We're taking on supplies. Any railway you hear at the moment will probably most likely be the rival railway to to that side, to our right. It's just over there. Yep, there you can see it. See a locomotive working on the rival line to Allen Preserve. And others, to be fair. That's what they use. They use their warehouse stations. I have no idea. I've never used a warehouse station, not once. I suspect if I'm starting to do um, scenarios when I next come back to this game, I will be possibly forced into 
using um, those kinds of stations, warehouse stations. Ah, uh, now, are we going to overtake the John Bull, or are we going to have to wait? We're going to have to wait. What I'm going to do is, while we're waiting, I'm going to upgrade the John Bull. <laughs> Consolidation B because I don't want to be on on board that train. That's the one I want to be involved in on board of. So a little bit messy there, but never mind. That's Washington just through the trees there. You remember this from the last episode. But then yes, and so from Washington, because we're going on the right-hand track, we'd have to wait for this guy. We'd have to wait for the consolidation. Nice looking locomotive. But yeah, here we go. The other bridge over the river. And then we join the main transcontinental railway route to New York, and then we are done. We are literally within mere moments of this series ending, and are saying goodbye to Railway Empire on the channel for a while. Not for too long, but for a while. Um, like I said, I, I, you've got Amnesia Rebirth, and you obviously have Train Sim stuff, but I'm not entirely sure what else I'll be playing. But yeah, so this has been it's been a big adventure. I genuinely thought it would take me more episodes than this. I genuinely thought it would take me many more episodes than this. I'm surprised it's I'm genuinely surprised it's finished in the same amount of episodes as the the London Railway. I thought this would be at least fifteen to twenty episodes. But what can I say? I'm good at running railroads on Railway Empire and here we are, this is New York. This is the arrival from San Francisco. It's being held up by some other train. <laughs> Trains all over the place. eighteen fifty nine the train from San Francisco arrived at New York might be July might be later we don't know so he's gonna come past us oh, he passes All the way through there. Quite a long train, that. Good to see some freight actually working. Here we go. We have arrived. When trains break down. It in New is York. a reflection of your company's management. There we go. Somewhat ludicrously, but we've done it. We've done it. We can now go from New York. Out to Washington, up by Indianapolis, St. Louis, Kansas City, where we started, Denver, Casper, then that wonderful little bit through the Rockies, to Salt Lake City, Winnemucca, down to San Francisco, then the route we've just done from San Francisco to Los Angeles, El Paso, Odessa, San Antonio, Houston, New Orleans. Jacksonville, Charlotte, and back to Washington, and with routes to Nashville and Memphis, which is where yes, where the other connection is, Memphis, and Chicago up there, and Minneapolis. We've I, it's gone well. It's gone very very well, and I'm very happy that it's gone as well 
as it has. So, yeah, if you have enjoyed the series, thank you ever so much for watching and sticking with it. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Check out all the stuff in the description below. Lots of train sim stuff, lots of trains in general, and Railway Empire. Um, other than that, there's nothing more to say. We did it. We built the Transcontinental Railroad across America, and we proved that it would have worked from either end, from either way they did it. Obviously, worked the way the Americans did it from end to end inwards, but we also proved it would have worked if you started in the middle and gone outwards. So, yeah. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in whatever game series I decide to play next. I was me. That was the Transcontinental Railroad in Railway Empire. See you very soon, guys. Goodbye. Hey, hey, Dave, let's kill him.